Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kaylee. Thank you so much for joining me. I've had so many requests for this video for like such a long time and people just always want to know like how I got my hair so long and how it's still so healthy when it's this long. So I finally have a chance to sit down and share with you guys my tips and tricks for how to grow long, healthy hair. Not really tricks, but more just like tips and information on how to get your hair long and how to get it healthy while it's long and how to keep it healthy while it's long. So I'm just gonna go through these. I have one, two, three, I have like roughly five points that I'm gonna talk to you guys about. And then I'm gonna show you how I like to curl my super long hair and get these like really soft, beautiful, like beachy waves here at the end of this video. So yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please click that subscribe button down below. And if you're excited to see how to grow your hair long and keep it nice and healthy, then please keep watching and let's go ahead and get started. Mm. Okay. So tip number one guys, this may seem like kind of a no-brainer to some people, but I know that like everyone gets busy throughout their day and it's not necessarily like the first thing on your mind, but tip number one is to drink a lot of water. Water is so important for your everyday overall health. It just, it like clears your skin, it makes you more active. There's just so many, so many benefits to drinking a lot of water and making sure that your hair is like 100% fully hydrated is so important to be able to grow your hair long. So what I recommend is to first calculate like how much water you should be drinking in a day. The recommended amount is like half of your weight in ounces. So for example, if you weigh 150 pounds, you wanna make sure that you're drinking at least 75 ounces of water per day, all the way up to your actual body weight in ounces. So it's like kind of like your minimum recommendation is half of your body weight. So make sure that you're drinking that amount of water every single day. And how I like to keep track is I have multiple water bottles like this. This is the Contigo brand. I got this from Amazon for like 12 bucks. Like it's super affordable. It has the ounces printed on here because that makes it so so much easier because I know this is 25 ounces and I should minimally have you know three to four of these water bottles minimally a day it's much easier to keep track of three water bottles than it is to keep track of eight glasses or ten glasses of water it's just so much easier when you only have to count three times so that is my first tip kind of a long one and it's like super obvious I know but it's just drink a lot of water make sure that you're fully hydrated and your hair is gonna grow a lot quicker and easier if you are all right, tip number two is another kind of obvious one, but just make sure that you're getting a balanced diet and that you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables. This is important because they have so many vitamins and nutrients inside of them that that's just gonna provide your hair all the vitamins they need in order to stimulate hair growth. I know that a lot of times it can become like overwhelming. You're not always necessarily consumed completely with what is going into your body and sometimes you just like need something, you're in a pinch, you're on the go and you just like need something so you just like grab a granola bar or whatever you have on hand, you pick up takeout, whatever you're doing, if you're just not having enough fruits and vegetables in your diet, then keep a multivitamin on hand. Just like throughout your day, if you're like, you know, I really haven't had too much fruits or vegetables today, go ahead and take that multivitamin. That's just gonna help, you know, replenish your body where it didn't receive those nutrients from your food for that day. So that's tip number two. Again, kind of long and kind of obvious, but very, very important. All right, so my third tip is to make sure that you are not putting heat on your hair. When you're trying to grow your hair, it's so important not to damage it as much as you can. So avoid blow drying your hair as much as possible and avoid putting a flat iron on it or curling your hair as much as you can. Like probably 97% of the time, I just let my hair air dry and I might take my shower in the evening, go to sleep, when I wake up, my hair's dry. And then when I do blow dry, I never put it on a hot setting. I always put it on a cool or warm setting because it's it's just gonna be that much healthier for your hair and promote that much more growth when you're not putting constant heat on your hair. And I don't fix my hair using heat that often. Come and say hi to you, mama. Hmm. But if you want like some more body and volume in your hair without using heat, I like to do my hair in braids a lot. It's just kind of damp. I'll go ahead and do my hair in one or two braids and then I'll sleep in the braids and so then when I take it out in the morning, you can hit it with a little hairspray and you're gonna have like natural looking waves. Just find other alternatives for fixing your hair. You know, wear it in a braid more often, put it in a ponytail, whatever you have to do to avoid putting heat on it. And that is my tip number three. So moving on to tip number four. That is do not wash your hair. Sounds kind of weird. 
you have to wash your hair every now and then, you just have to. But try not to wash your hair very often. I wash my hair probably two times a week. Dry shampoo will be your best friend. I use the original formula from Batiste. I wash my hair this morning. Tomorrow I'll probably be okay to not use dry shampoo, but then like the day after that I'll hit it with some dry shampoo. The following day I'll hit it with some dry shampoo until it like really looks like it needs a shampoo. That's when I'll go ahead and wash it. Your body naturally produces healthy oils to make your hair grow. And if you're washing your hair every day, you're stripping those oils away from your hair and it's gonna really stunt your hair's growth because it needs those oils in order to grow and be healthy. So if you're taking in those oils away from your hair, you're really like preventing your hair from growing essentially. If your hair will naturally stop producing so much oils when you stop washing away the oils all the time. Because if you're washing your hair every day, your body think is like freaking out thinking like what's happening to the oils that I'm producing and so it overproduces the oils. So just make sure if you can stand it, don't wash your hair very often and eventually the oils will stop producing so often and you'll be able to go longer and longer without actually having to wash your hair if that makes sense. When you want to treat your hair extra special and just like give it a little bit more like help and love, do some kind of like conditioning treatment. Just go out and buy a little something. Every now and then you just want to do that to like re-add that moisture and hydration back into your hair. All right so my last Last tip is going to be don't cut your hair too often and I had such an issue with this whenever I was first growing my hair out because so many people would say you know you your hair has to be cut and healthy in order for it to grow you know I found that to be true to an extent but, um, I would usually go like two to maybe three months before I would have my hair cut and when I first started growing it out, it probably took me like three or four years to get my hair as long as it is now. And I stopped getting it cut so frequently. That's when I noticed that my hair was really starting to get some length is that when I wasn't going in to cut it that often. Originally I had it cut to a bob. That's when it took me three to four years to grow it out is when I had it cut to a literally this length in high school. Like this. Not cute. I like to do my own haircuts whenever I'm trying to grow my hair out and that way I can control how much of my hair is being cut off. If you're growing your hair out, just you can kind of look at the ends of your hair and see as far as your dead ends are where they come to and then just go ahead and you can do your own trims at home. Just get a good pair of hair cutting scissors. You can get these at like beauty supply store. Just get some hair cutting scissors because I cannot tell you how many times I've gone, told them just to take the dead ends and I end up with like five inches cut off my hair and it's so frustrating when you're trying to grow your hair out. I did just want to mention like don't be frustrated if your hair is not growing as quickly as you want. Just focus on drinking water, eating fruits and vegetables, not putting heat on your hair and your hair will grow eventually. Just focus on trying to get your hair as healthy as possible for your individual hair type because your hair is not going to be the same as mine. It's not going to be the same as the person next to you. Everyone's hair is different. Just do what's best for your hair and all you can do really is just make your hair as healthy as possible and eventually it will grow. Just take your time and be patient with it. All right, so that is pretty much all of my tips and tricks for how to grow your hair healthy. And next I'm gonna show you guys how I like to curl my super, super long hair. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. Okay, sorry if the lighting's bad now. I'm in my completely plain, unpainted, undecorated bathroom and the lighting is pretty terrible in here. I'm using the Remington um, wand. I've literally had this wand for such a long time and I'm just going to put it up to 374. I don't like to put my curling iron ever up over 400 degrees just because it can become very damaging to your hair if you put it over 400. I know a lot of times people with like really thick hair or really like curly hair naturally have to put it over 400 and that's totally fine. Just do what's appropriate for your own hair. While that's heating up I'm just going to take my hair and divide it right down the middle this side and I'm just gonna put it like loosely in this clip so that it keeps it all together and I'm just gonna put it behind my back so that it's out of the way and then I just start kind of doing it by sections so all together I'll do no more than like 12 sections but I just start at the back of my hair and I just take a pretty good sized section and I'll literally, because my hair is so long, take this guy and just kind of like throw it over my shoulder so it's out of the way. Now you don't want to put too much hairspray. I just like to put a little bit so that my hair has a little bit of texture and the curling iron has a little bit of something to cling onto. So I literally just take my hair, I kind of let it be spread out a little bit in the section and I'll just do like three kind of sprays through it. And I start wrapping the piece around it and I'll do it kind of like a, a ribbon the first like three times around it. So it's flat here and then I kind of hold onto it 
so that the hair kind of twists towards the end. And so the hair is lying flat on the curling iron up here and it's twisted down here. And I just usually leave it on here for like 20 to 25 seconds until you can feel the heat coming through your hair a little bit. We'll let the curl fall out and you want to let it fall into your hand because if we let that curl cool in this position it's going to make that curl last a lot longer. You can see this is the part that we had it straight and then this part we had it a little bit twisted on the curling iron. And then I will go over it one more time with the hairspray, just a couple little sprays. And I always like to rotate so the first curl I think we did like this so this curl I'm going to go this direction. So 20 to 25 seconds, let it cool for a second. Then we release it, give it a couple sprays. All right, and then when I get around my face, I just like to take the wand and kind of tame any of the little flyaways around my face. And now we're ready for this side. I'm gonna do the exact thing, same thing on this side. Another reason I really like doing the um, big sections is that it just saves so much time. It literally takes me 15, maybe 20 minutes to do my whole head and I have like so much hair and I really do feel like it doesn't damage your hair as much because you're not putting heat like as direct heat on every section of your hair so I just think it's healthier and it saves you a lot of time okay, so then once we are all done I just like to give one last little spritz and I just kind of lightly run my fingers through curls and kind of break them up a little bit and yeah, that is how I like to curl my super long hair. All right guys, that is it for this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and found some helpful tips and tricks on how to grow your hair long and healthy. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe before you leave today. I would very much appreciate that. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I do very much appreciate it. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you in my next video.